Zombie there, let's go and clobber that. Well, that was really annoying. Well, personally, well. Well, personally, I think you've got your logic completely wrong. I mean, look at all those Hollywood Survivor films. They're always wearing perfect hair, perfect lipstick. Bitches. So if they can do it, so can I. Oh, okay, so this is, looks like an interesting house. Oh, it's got a few zombies around it, so let's take a look at this one. And... Right, nothing of the rubbish. Probably have to kill a few zombies before we really get in there. And, okay, remind me on the way back. We're going to get that lipstick. Come on. There we go. take those curtains well, actually no, we'll take those curtains and not walk away while it's doing it okay and put no reason to have those in there so we'll put them in there in fact why are we carrying this stuff around anyway so there we go all right that's good and we'll have a have a hunt through here and see what we can find. Uh, oh, gardening spray can. That's going to come in very useful in a minute. Another lighter. Strawberry seeds. Yep, level this. I think actually we'll grab that frying pan because we're wearing out the two we've got. Fill up with water. <laughs> oh, see you live, Audia. Take care. Uh, what sort of date would Ellen... Uh, would William take Ellen on? Um, I should imagine it would probably not be that great a, a date, considering that he'd probably be tied to something at the time. Though, I think, to be totally honest with you, after a little while, he'd probably enjoy it. Schmeg. Let's go and deal with these guys. Okay. Alright. Nothing there of any use. Oh. I thought we'd filled our daily quota of zombies. This is getting a bit dangerous. This is getting to running away territory, I think. Let's give ourselves a bit of space here.
Excellent, got one. Come on. Oh, oh you're exhausted. Oh, damn, come on. I think we've been uh, hit. This is going on too long. Damn. Our frying pan has just broken. I think we've got some minor pain okay we have been hurt so first of all let's get ourselves a new weapon to equip yeah I was out of worry I was worried that they would still be following us right let's just run away I think our permanently hungry friend here might have met her end. Right, we have minor injuries, we need some bandages. First of all, let's get home. Have a quick look at our... Alright, we've only got scratches, so we might be alright. Okay, let's see if we can sort ourselves out and then we'll get home and we shall do some first aid. Right. Okay, so let's eat something and... Is that just get our strength back here? We are anxious, but we're, we're getting our, our hunger down, which is important. Okay, right. There we go, that's calmed us down a little bit. See if we can get past these guys and into the house. And then we'll sort our scratches out. And we'll get back to it. You off? Okay, take care, have a nice new year, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Right, if I remember right, we should be able to rip stuff up for bandages. Airplane flying over, never good. What these stents do is just basically rearrange all the zombies on the map. Uh, rip sheets. How do you make bandages? Okay, he used to be able to make bandages. I can't remember how. Let's have another look through the... Ah, here we go. We can bandage with ripped sheets. Excellent. So there we go. We are bandaged. That means we're going to improve over time. And it's because it was only a scratch. I don't think we're likely to turn into a zombie. God, everything's flying overhead at the moment. Mm, cigarettes are useful for stress reduction, but they do make you unhappy when you, you smoke them. Okay. 
We seem to be vaguely good. Now, I tell you what, let's cheer ourselves up by making some ramen. If I can remember how to do it. Need a bowl. And we need some dry ramen noodles. Broken. Oh, that's annoying. Ah, create a stir fry from ramen noodles. Interesting. Put in container. Uh, oh, wrong way. Okay. Need those back. And um, where's that bowl? Okay, bowl. Okay, <laughs> alright, we're making a stir fry with dry ramen noodles, why not? Uh, we'll add some more dry ramen noodles to that. And we'll cook the thing. That's actually quite good um, hunger. Okay, is that on? Yeah, that's on, that's cooking. We obviously forgot to turn it off, so we're lucky the house hasn't burnt down. Right, uh, I'm going to grab us a book for the rest of the day. What we're doing a lot of is cooking, so we'll grab that cooking for beginners, and we shall read that after we've eaten. And... Tomorrow we'll go back to that house and see what we can find. That's cooking. Let's read that for a bit. Reading the book will give us a bonus to very well to cooking in this case and It'll help us get our skill up. We've got a skill point that we want to invest. Uh, so that's going to be good for us. Doesn't make for good viewing mine, because all we're going to do is sit there for a bit. Come on. It's 8.30. Kimberly wants to go to bed. There we go. All right. Are you not doing that because we're reading? Okay, I suppose that makes a certain degree of uh, sense. Uh, where should be dinner? Where should be dinner? I put it in here. Um, there we go. Dry ramen noodles stir fry. That sounds utterly disgusting, really, doesn't it? But she seemed to do it. Uh, she seemed to like it. Okay, let's read for a little bit and then we'll go to bed. And while we're doing that, we'll have a little think about the things that we want to do. Okay, so we have a hammer and nails, which means we've got the basics of carpentry. And one of the things we need to do is board up uh, some of the windows and doors and defend the rest of them if we're going to stay in this place. Um, but what we need to do that is planks. And the way to make planks is with a saw to cut down logs. I don't believe we can actually do something with this table anything like that so let's we've read for a little bit um, actually let's have a look at our character skills okay we are skilled enough with cooking to get a bonus and we're skilled enough with accuracy and maintenance of blunt weapons so let's do cooking and She'll have a skill point available, so let's do maintenance of blunt weapons, and then hopefully 
are uh, and then hopefully are um, hold on a sec let's do eight hours hopefully then our frying pans will last a bit longer at least until we get a decent weapon but we're kind of going down the blunt weapon route now things I want to do are farming and first aid but the problem is now we've got a point in we've got a point in uh, cooking so this book is now no use to us whatsoever um, we want intermediate cooking if we're gonna have anything and we don't seem to have that one yet uh, so we need to hunt through for that one hello Garakot happy new year to you so right we're still loaded down so let's get rid of some of this stuff a water bottle empty pot bottle empty pot bottle and fill empty pot bottle and fill bowl and let's put a lot of that away because we're, we're carrying around way too much water now um, that can go in there I don't think we need eight of these so we'll put six of these in here in fact, why am I doing it like that two three four like that Three, four, okay, and we shall put. Don't need bowls of water. Can you imagine running around from zombies while carrying a couple of bowls of water without spilling it? Okay, good, and put the broken frying pan in here because we can fix that later on. Three and four. Well, thank you very much. I'm sure I shall have a delicious new year. Uh, why does the character get hungry so often? Because the character has a hearty appetite perk, um, which allowed us to get strong and a few other bits and pieces. Uh, she's handy, lucky, and strong, but to pay for it, she's got a hearty appetite, she's short-tempered, and brooding, and a light drinker. Right, so harpy nude beer to you. Okay. Right, one of the problems with this game is you need the specific tool to do a job. Okay, I would like to start farming, but in order to start farming, I believe I need a hoe. If it was Christmas time, we could get three of them and have a ho, ho, ho. So, let's get some food, because once again, she's hungry. Let's do what every small child dreams of and have chocolate for breakfast. And let's get out of here and start hunting some stuffs again. Hopefully what we're hunting does not involve zombies this time. Though, given the fact this game is called Project Zomboid, it probably will. How many lurkers are there around here? Not many, I hope. Right, let's go through the door this time. Or not. It's going through the window this time. Right, let's go and find some stuff. Advanced carpeting. Yeah, we'll have that. In fact, I'll have those two as well. There's a zombie outside of a door somewhere. 
And the game's seen it, even though... Oh, there it is. Right, let's just deal with this. <laughs> let's just deal with this zombie that's not quite clever enough to realise that I've opened the door. And also, I'm not quite clever enough myself to have equipped a new weapon. Rains. Rains. Nothing of interest. No, nothing of interest in there. Smallest toilet I've ever seen. Rubik's Cube. Sounds like something stumping on the door again. Advanced cooking, I think we got that. I don't think we got advanced fishing, so we'll have one of those. Our friend is hungry again. Let's put those in there. Uh, that doesn't need to be in our inventory. And does that... Did we bring any food with us? I think we did. Have that. And let's have these crisps. Oh, let's not have those crisps. We'll save those for later on. Alright, I think we're good there. All right. Pool cue. Uh, probably going to make a decent weapon, that actually. Let's give that a try. We have our first two handed weapon sweater, vest, pillow, belt. Don't need any of that. Come on, open that door. The <laughs> open door, there we go, thank you. Need any of that? Don't need any of that. How did you get in? Well, that worked well, didn't it? Okay, what we got in here? Dog food. We're probably going to be hungry enough eventually. We'll fill that with water. Salt, we will take that. We have strawberry seeds coming out of our ears fairly soon. Tea bag and water bottle. We'll have those. Oh, definitely we're going to need that garbage bag. Garbage bags can be used for making water carriers. Dal petal. Very nice. In fact, let's have all of that. Right, that was a fairly good haul. Come on. Come on. Alright. Is there two zombie corpses there? Yes, there's two zombie corpses there. We have finally killed that one. <sighs> she needs a, it does need a katana. You're absolutely right. What sort of post-apocalyptic... Uh, vision of the future is it when she doesn't have a katana actually it's still fairly early let's go and carry on down this street a little bit and see what we can find we found a corner wow
Yeah, this area is not very densely populated. I think we're probably going to have to move the other direction, move further into town. Which is a bit more dangerous, but uh, will actually reward us with stuff. And without the carpentry skill, for example, we are fairly useless. Because what we desperately need to do here is barricade up our house. Oh, they saw us. And here comes another one. At least we got that one. Anything fun on you guys? No. That doesn't look like a very well maintained road, does it? Okay, let's see what's down here. It's getting a bit late, so we should actually start turning around soon, but uh Ooh, the railway tracks. I feel an expedition coming on. Though I think we'll, we'll come back to that one when we're a little bit more prepared. What I want to go actually is in the other direction because they, I think we're actually on the eastern side of the town. So uh, it's not going to be that much to the east of us, but an awful lot to the west of us. And that seems like the direction in which to go. <laughs> Laura to dress baby zombies. I'm sure they'd be little green creatures with the most fantastic hairstyles ever. And they'd be adorable. Oh, I like this weapon. Nothing there, and nothing there. Fortunately, I don't think this weapon is going to last much longer. Thank you. Yep. Oh, no, it's in fairly good condition. Let's see how long it does last. Right, let's just run up here. Yes, it's a pull cue. Which, I've got to be honest with you, is actually a fairly traditional post-apocalyptic weapon. Um, possibly, but not this. Okay, so, right, we need food. There's a surprise. Um... Um, and bread and mustard see if we can make a sandwich shall we no we can't make a Sam sandwich I'll tell you what let's just eat the lot of it and call it a ham sandwich okay so we'll eat some of that and we'll eat some of that. And we shall eat some of that. Our very own ham sandwich. And we shall eat the rest of that. Because apparently that wasn't enough. There we go. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, it's all the same afterwards, isn't it? Um, you guys want to play The Sims a little bit? Hey, okay, let's drop off some of this stuff. Should really eat that milk before it goes off. Is there any food in here? 